Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Palm Sunday marks the start of Holy Week. Jesus rode into Jerusalem over 2,000 years ago on a donkey to large crowds who were laying palm branches and cloaks on the ground as he rode by. The crowd was very excited. But have you ever wondered what the donkey was thinking as he brought Jesus into Jerusalem? Do you think he was scared? Let's listen as I read Little Colt's Palm Sunday by Michelle Medlock Adams and illustrated by Wayne Parmenter and find out. Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Tell him, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? And they replied, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. Luke chapter 19, verses 30 through 36. The young colt snuggled in the hay he fidgeted about. Please go to sleep, his mama said, and then she kissed his snout. But mama, whispered little colt, I'm just not sleepy now. Shh, shh, be quiet, Mama said. You'll wake up Mrs. Cow. Will you tell me a story, Mom? I promise to be still. Okay, the Mama Donkey said. For you, my son, I will. While donkeys live quite humble lives, sometimes we do great things. In fact, your great-great-grandfather once helped the King of Kings. He did, but how? asked little Colt. His eyes became quite wide. He carried my Mary, Mama said, and Jesus was inside. Inside? asked Colt. What do you mean? The Mama donkey smiled. Let me explain, she softly spoke. See, Mary was with child. Your great-great-grandpa carried them with every step he knew that someday Mary's baby boy would have great things to do. And he was absolutely right, the mother donkey said. That Jesus does great miracles. He's raised men from the dead. Oh, mama, whispered little Colt. I want to meet this man. Then mother donkey nuzzled him. Maybe someday you can. But now you need to go to sleep. You promised, little one. Okay, mama, said little Colt. But sleeping is no fun. The morning sun awakened them. It gently warmed the hay. Come on, son, Mama Donkey urged. We've got to work today. Then suddenly their owner came and led them into town. He tied them up and softly spoke. I won't be long. Don't frown. I've never been to town, said Colt. Why do you think we're here? I'm not sure, Mama Donkey said but soon it would be clear. It's a little nervous. Just then, two men untied the colt. The colt began to bray. Help, Mama, cried the out little colt. They're leading me away. But strangely, Mama wasn't scared. Somehow the donkey knew that little colt would be all right. He had a job to do. Excuse me, sirs, the owner said. Don't lead my colt away. The two men stopped and smiled and said, The Lord needs him today. We promise to return your colt, assured the two nice men. Okay, the owner softly said. Do well, my little friend. The little colt walked with the men, unsure of everything, and then he met Jesus the Christ, the king of every king. So this is he, thought little Colt. I feel like I should bow. If only mom were here with me, then she could teach me how. Jesus the Christ stroked little Colt. 
He had a gentle touch. He's pleased with me, thought little Colt. I like him very much. And then the men took off their coats and pulled the colt real near. They placed their coats upon his back and said, Jesus, sit here. While little Colt was glad to help, he had a big concern. He'd never given any rides. He hoped that he could learn. The Lord God climbed atop the colt. The colt stood firm and still. Though he was young, he understood the need to do God's will. Then suddenly a crowd appeared. They praised the Lord and said, Hosanna in the highest. Then each man bowed his head. The people tore off palm branches. Some waved them in the air. Still others placed them in the road and little colt stepped there. Look at how excited everyone is. The palms felt soft beneath his hooves, much softer than the road. These branches feel quite cool, thought Colt. I bear a sacred load. The crowd cheered wildly with great joy. The colt was filled with pride. He knew that he'd been born for this, to give Jesus a ride. Then he looked happy. As they continued into town, the whole world seemed to cheer, and mother's donkey's heart was full. She held each moment dear. Then Jesus climbed down off the colt. His work had just begun. But little Colt had finished his, his mission now was done. As little Colt watched Jesus leave, his heart beat strong and fast. That ride was great, thought little Colt, if only it could last. His insides were all fuzzy warm, he'd never felt this way. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his special day. He wondered if great-great-grandpa had felt the same inside. Nothing compares thought little Colt, to giving God a ride. Just then the owner saw his Colt. Come home now, little one. So little Colt began toward home. His new life had begun. Well, bookworms, I hope you enjoyed this story. I love how the Colt, although scared, chose to take Jesus on his first ride. He found out that he could do it and do a good job. Now, when you get a chance, go to your local library and check out other books like this or go to a bookstore and buy a copy for yourself. If you like reading with me, become an official bookworm and subscribe. Until next time, bye. Yeah!